Today on Piggy Power, we're talking tyres. So today on Piggy Power, I just thought I'd briefly cover your tyres. You don't need any special tools to keep an eye that your tyres are safe and of course legal. So before an MOT, just go around your vehicle and check your tyres. Now both these tyres, although technically I have reasons to change them both, would actually pass an MOT with advisories. If we look closely on this tyre, you can note that it actually has some cracks occurring. It's perishing. That can happen on the sidewall as well. Now as long as the cracks aren't too deep, this will pass, but as you can tell, the tyre isn't in good condition, so you'd want to think about changing this tyre, despite unfortunately that it's hardly worn. In fact, it's still got the pimples on the side. On the other tyre, we see that it's worn on the outer edges. It's worn a little bit in the centre as well, but you don't need any special tools here. Basically, just the centre three quarters of the tyre must have at least 1.6 millimetres of tread. So we see it's worn on the very outer edges, but that doesn't come into the centre three quarters of the tyre. Very easy to work out really with a ruler, what your centre three quarters is. Unless, of course, the side of the tyre is showing cords or metal, be careful when you do check your tyres, just in case there is some metal showing. It, of course, also could have damage on the sidewall where a chunk of rubber is missing and showing the cords or sidewall in, in, inside that cut. That also would be a failure and be pretty dangerous. It's likely that at speed, the temperature and heat and pressure would build up and you'd have a blowout. Now, you might not well have a gauge to check the depth of your tyre, but you don't need that. Tyres, in fact, have these little lumps of rubber in the grooves. And that lump is at 1.6 millimetres from the very surface. So once your tyre tread depth gets down to that lump, you know you are on the limit and you must be changing your tyres at the soonest opportunity. To find those little lumps in your tyre, if you look along the sidewall of your tyre, you either will find a little arrow or you'll find three letters. T W I. Tread wear indicator. They'll have them probably five or six times around the, the uh, circumference of the tyre and that way you can then follow in, find the lumps of, of rubber and that is your little gauge. So remember the centre three quarters of your tyre must be at least 1.6 millimetres of tread in the UK on a passenger vehicle. Obviously heavier vehicles over three and a half tonne have some different legal legalities to them, not going to cover that. The tyre also must be showing no cords, no metal strands and not be perishing like this. Sidewalls also must be in good condition. There we go. Obviously, the final thing, they're not flat. They are good and well inflated. The very final check you can do on your car is ensure that the size, which is on every tire, uh, this is the width, this is the ratio of width uh, to the size of your sidewall, this is the inches across your wheel, and then a speed rating. The important bit is, is these numbers here must be the same across the axle. They don't have to be the same front to rear, they must be the same across the axle. So either left and right the front, left and right the rear. Most vehicles will have the same four tyres all the way around, but that also is an MOT fail. So thank you for watching this, I hope I've covered everything I need to for tyres. Thanks for watching Piggy Power. If you'd like to support the channel, please share this video with other people or my channel with other people on your Instagram and Facebook and tweet me this and tweet me that. And uh, it would also be nice if you would subscribe and like this video. Look out for Patreon too. Coming soon to Piggy Power. Thanks. Wink out.